Hey YouTube, Rick's here. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a product that's pretty similar to one that I've already taken a look at before. And that is an LED tracer panel, or you can call it a tracer tablet. And basically what it does, in case you didn't see the video that I did on this particular product, is that it shines a light through whatever you put on here, normally a photograph, let's say for example, or another drawing, and then you can put your drawing paper on top and trace it, and this is a quick way of getting perfect proportions of your sketch before you go into the real fun part of drawing, and that's the shading and the blending and the detail works in trying to achieve a photorealistic or hyperrealistic drawing. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a product that came in this box, and you can already see that the box is bigger than the tablet. So I'm looking forward to reviewing a product that is different than this one in size, and we'll see if anything else. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing to do is to dig in and see what we've got here. Now the package comes with a carrying case, as you see here, for the tablets itself. A very beautiful carrying case here. Zippered compartments. Guess you can put some stuff in there. A place to put stuff in here. You're drawing things. And it has the name of the product here, which is Mactine. M-A-C-T-I-N-G. It's a very felty uh, feeling type of fabric. Oh, and it looks like this actually detaches. So that's pretty cool too. And it'll detach from there as well. Perhaps this will detach. Yes, it detaches also. And then there's the other side of it, and we look like we have also where you can open up the zippers here and put your tablet inside there, which is something that I will do once I am done taking a look at it. So there's what it looks like on the inside so that it can keep it well protected. All right, I'm going to put this off to the side. Now I have some card here says gift and well that's not important now this here looks like some kind of a stand and I believe it is so you can stand your your tablet up on it so that's pretty cool and of course the power cable and then here we have a couple of clamps. And let's take the tablet out. Ooh, there it is. Now that is what I call an LED light box or light tablet. Now, I want you to see the difference between that one and the one I reviewed before. See the difference in size? This one here is going to cost a little more, but it comes in a bigger size. It comes with this stand. It's made out of metal. And it comes with that carrying case. So obviously, this is a premium product. So the next thing we want to do is work it, work it, work it. First thing I need to do is I need to plug it in. Now you're going to need some place to plug in for your USB power. I keep a few of these things around for that very reason, such as one of these little puppies. But if you don't have one, you'll have to get one of these because it does not come with the power adapter. 
so that you can plug it into the outlet. I'll put in the power strip here and let's see what side does it put okay so here's the switch and here is exactly where you would plug this cable in and you'll see this little purple light shine knowing that uh, you have juice going to this thing okay now I'm going to turn the light off here now if this is anything like the other tablet you just simply touch the power switch and there you go there's the light and likely it has different settings by touching it again and seeing it get brighter Oh, you, wow, you hold it. And it gets brighter and brighter till the max. And then if you touch it and hold it. Wow. Okay, so this does not step up like two, three times like the other tablet, but actually goes through a gradual progression higher See it gets brighter and brighter until it maxes out. Or you can make it darker by holding it and adjusting it till it's just right. I like this feature and no doubt this is another indication that this is a more premium product than the other one. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to get a photo and we'll put it on here so that I can demonstrate how this works. I happen to have this image right here that I had printed out for a different project that I'm working on. And I'm going to grab some print uh, drawing paper here. All right, I have myself some drawing paper here. I hope you can see it in the dark here. And I like the smooth side to draw on. And I'm just going to leave that right on like that. Now, this of course is not aligned so you have these clips and these clips will allow me to clip it onto this light board the way I want it. So let's see if I can do that. I don't know how deep this thing will go. Let's see. It doesn't go deep enough there. So it would have to be off to the side. And there you go just like that. Okay and that would keep it from moving. Now you can just barely make out the image here to trace with your pencil for example. However, remember we have we have this ability to make it brighter. So I'm just going to hold my finger there and make it nice and bright. You can see what I'm doing. It's just tracing the eyes, and everything. Okay, so and when you're done, okay, so you can see I just kind of did a really quick trace here. Obviously, I'm going to throw this away. So, the usage of this is really cool because to turn it on and off, you simply uh, tap it. And I'm with, there you go, and it comes on. And then to adjust it higher or lower, you put your finger and hold it. So there is lower, press and hold, and there is full brightness. If you want to turn it off, you tap it, and then you just let it cycle down, and then it shuts off automatically. The other thing that's really nice about this LED tablet is that it has these uh, measurements on here. So you have this ruler here that you can use. It's in centimeters here and centimeters here. And according to the information that came with this product, it says that you can use it for professional copying and animation, cartoon, tattoo tracing, craft projects, fabric design, photograph, film, slider transferring, 
professional tracing in indoor, architecture, design and drawing, and even as an x-ray viewer in a hospital, which no doubt I can see how it would work for that as well. Well, I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed with this tablet. I love the fact that it's really large, covers a really nice area here. I think it's handy that it can stand up in this easel that it comes with. And I like the fact that it comes with this handy carrying case here so that it can keep it nice and well protected because it is thin, just like the other one is thin, and you don't want to damage it and get it you know, scratched up or anything. And of course, when you're out and about, you can put stuff in here, and that's really handy. all come together as one package I think it's a really good value but more importantly I just think it's a really great tablet I am really excited to have this now as part of my tool set well hey I hope you like this product review and if so please give me a thumbs up leave your comments down in the section below let's have a conversation about gridding and tracers and all these things because I know we can have a lively debate on those subjects and if you haven't already done so please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be informed of my upcoming videos and I really do appreciate you watching my videos and have yourself a great day.